Hello and welcome. In today's video we are going to take a look at Ninjago Set 717900 Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound. Specifically, what I'd like to do today is replace this head with a custom one that we are going to build together. So this is the build model and I must say it's quite successful for what it's supposed to be. In the future I'd also like to show you um, a complete rework of this hunt transforming it into something uh, less juvenile, similarly to what I did with this Earth Dragon. If you're interested in seeing a review of this work, please feel free to comment below, and uh, I'll do my best to find the time to shoot a video. But let's get back to our hunt. As a side note, um, I've noticed people complaining about these ratchet joints over here. Before I started recording this, I replaced them with mixer joints, and believe me, that's not something you want. Um, it turns a fine toy into a floppy mess, so in, in my rework of the body later on, I'm going to avoid both types of joints, but let's leave that for, for later. Today i just like to show you how we can replace this head with something I personally prefer. Now, um, I might say something unpopular, but I'm not a big fan of this new piece. Um, I don't even like it on the dragon that acts as the figurehead at the bow of the new bounty. Um, I think it creates a rather flat looking shape, so I won't use it in my replacement. These are the pieces that you'll need instead. You can check the video description or the comments below for a parts list. Assuming that you own the set, you already have many of these pieces. Instead of using the um, ordinary snot bricks that come with the set, I'm using these headlight bricks because they'll allow us to create a narrower face. We'll gain half a plate on each side, uh, resulting in a total width reduction uh, of exactly one plate. I'm using headlight bricks here as well. Uh, this also removes the little gaps that were present in the original model. The gaps don't, don't really bother me. The main reason for using the headlight, as I said, is to make the head um, narrower. If you happen to have a 1.5 plate, you can use it here. This won't really affect the stability of the build anyway. What you see here is a regular 1-2 curved slope to which I've applied custom stickers on both sides. I simply took a sticker sheet from a different set and cut little pieces to cover half of each side. These yellow sections will be visible below the eyebrows and create the eyes. Ideally this would be prints, as having pieces touching a sticker is not ideal. However, however, in this specific case it's not a big issue since these wedges are attached to just one side and have a little wiggle room. This is what the eyes are going to look like. Let me now complete the nose. And finally the ears. And we are done. Let me show you the two heads side by side. Of course, the one we've just built has some pieces that could detach, as we are not restricted by the initial 6 plus target anymore, but it's stable enough. If you follow my channel, you know that I don't build mocks unless they are reasonably sturdy. I think the new shape looks better. Though the eyes won't be directly visible from the front, they'll become apparent at the slightest angle. Keep in mind that the eyes on the original design aren't very visible from the side and that's a more likely viewing angle. Now let's attach it to the photac and see how it looks. I'm pretty happy with the result. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. Stay tuned for a more detailed uh, rework of this model and let me know in the comments below 
if you'd like to see a review of my Heart Dragon rework. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. It also keeps me motivated, and that's good. <laughs> Until next time, bye.